Mallacoota is always run a little bit differently to other more conventional places. We did declare the Mallacoota People's Republic open. The last thing you want to govern you is a government department. Just the last person you want to be in charge of is a politician. Welcome! Come on in. This is where we spend most of our days. Brooke had lost her house. Lisa had lost her house. Max's mum's house had gone. We decided that what we needed was a recovery committee. You can't leave it to the bureaucracies to lead you out of this. No agency can suddenly make 120 homes appear. We don't want people telling us what to do from Canberra. Now we've got blokes here like this, pissing in our pockets. We feel we know best about what we need. We are having a recovery association election. Everybody in Mallacoota is talking about the election. Do you like my big dinghy bell to get your attention? There'll be no chance that they'll choose me. <laughs> That's for you. There have been issues in the past that have been incredibly divisive. Those divisions still linger. Put a fire trail in and burn it back. You do not care about the animals. Well, that's not the case at all. This town can be very harsh. If these guys were doing their job properly, we wouldn't have had this fire in the town. If it can find a united voice, that's the only way to go. Everybody's terrified that the lunatics will take over the asylum. The recovery from the bushfire for Malakuta is going to be different than any recovery from any bushfire ever before.